Sean Ellis for Hellraiser Boxing in partnership with London Live. I'm backstage at the Troxy in Limehouse with the new WBO Intercontinental Featherweight Champ, Ben Jones. Ben, how's it going? How did you enjoy that one? Yeah, do you know what? I did enjoy it. He was, uh, he's a tough lad. I knew he was going to be tough. I watched a lot about him. Um, it was never going to be an easy fight because he's dangerous. And the worst thing that could have happened is he caught me with a silly shot. Just glancing, much well, Brennan says a little bit off balance. He caught me, he's fair, I made the cut, so he was a decent shot. But he didn't shock me, which was good. The only shock was obviously that he put me down, which is a real shame, which put me points behind. Um, um, but yeah, I, I, I got back to my boxing. I think I was—I felt like I was winning the first round, and it caught me for a silly shot. So, I mean, so tell me about that silly shot because I didn't get out there, unfortunately, until the fifth round, and I see the cut, and I thought, how did it happen? Tell me about the shot that he, he got you with. It's just a typical how he fights, to be honest. Martin Pelagi, hes very strong, and he swings. He swings at—I believe it was a left hook. Um, and he's, he's swinging away, and caught me just well, as I was—I think as I was stepping back, so it caught me slightly off balance. Um, don't get me wrong, it was a fantastic shot, caught me, but fitness come on, come on and um, I thought about my boxing, straight back onto it and straight back into the game. How would you assess your own performance overall tonight? Clever really, because he's an awkward guy. Um, he, to be honest, he got to a point where I had to try and outbox him. I mean, he, he was a fantastic amateur, which is, is uh, trying to outbox a fantastic amateur sometimes can be difficult. Um, and uh, it got to a point where I tied him out with body shots, I believe, and he was going back and he was just waiting for the big shot. He was trying to put me out with a big shot, and I just, um, I just play clever, really, tucked up tight, kept down low, and just popped the shots. Just not trying to load up too much. If I loaded up too much, it could put me in uh, serious trouble myself again. He could be swinging again and then catch me again. So, so that's box clever. What was the advice you were getting from the corner? Obviously, with the cut, you had to be very careful. Very careful. To be honest, they were trying. Not let me think about the cut to be honest. A very good, very calm corner, which is fantastic. And didn't mention the cut too much. Don't worry about the cut. They deal with the cut. That was the that was the thing. Cuts for them to deal with. Keep to my boxing, um, and then they told me to start pushing forward, keep underneath, as uh, as I was doing. Uh, try and get the right hand in a lot more, um, which worked and didn't. Sometimes I was a bit worried because he was swinging the left hook. Um, so it was a little bit unsure with the right hand, but right into the body worked well. So I've thrown a lot of right into the body to get me in. Um, it's just a little bit of a shame that, um, that he danced around the ring quite a lot, you know, because uh, you know I wanted it to be a little bit closer, but he he was tiring out himself. With scores of 97-93, 96-94, 97 unanimous decision. Do you think that was a fair reflection of the fight? I didn't at first, but actually, the first round, because he put me down, he wins it by two points. So actually, if you take that out of the equation, which I actually think I was winning the first round, apart from that, it would have been two points ahead of that, and then that is a fair thing. So yes, I do think it's fair. Um, I'm totally happy with, to be honest, it's a win's a win, and I, I boxed sensible and done, it, Robert, done what I needed to do. So what does the immediate future hold for Ben Jones then, when, when we're gonna see you back in action? I, by the sounds of it, obviously good at this cut. Um, they told me um, I'll obviously not be boxing for eight weeks, so uh, so sparring and stuff will be out the window. So probably looking at sort of February, March next year, I would have thought, um, as it's coming to the end of the year now. How important a part did your team play in this victory? Massive part, massive, because they kept the corn, corn corner, uh, corner. If uh, if they'd have come uh, getting in there all sort of anxious and flying in, it could have made me go out there all, all off, chasing after my two points that I lost in the first round. They was calm, clever, told me exactly what to do, kept me kept me focused and, and uh, done exactly what I needed to do. And uh, what would your message be for the Crawley people and all the fans that come and turned out for you to watch you? Thanks for supporting me, it's fantastic to have you behind me. Crawley and Red Hill, Red Hill um, I was there for a brief, a brief time and there was a lot of Red Hill lads as well. Fantastic, brilliant to them to get behind me and please get you more of your friends and come to the next one. Let's, let's, let's get more of you, let's have a bigger army. It was a fantastic atmosphere and it could even get better. Must feel good to be back in those world rankings, Ben. Congratulations on the win and good luck for the future. Thank you, cheers.